Twitter accounts that were the Twitter accounts of the uh, Russian uh, either official uh, people or like uh, Russian uh, media um, that are they are state sponsored. So uh, actually, uh, it's um, you know it's sort of a sign um, that uh, Elon Musk doesn't mind having a Russian propaganda. Um, and also what I see um, that uh, people uh, in different Western countries do not actually understand the origins of the war, the origins of the conflict, because it had been uh, for many, many years. Uh, they still see uh, Ukraine as a sort of, uh, you know, historically tied a country and everything, but uh, if um, if we we'll probably would have to to do more with this, um, you know, communication explaining mm. uh, the right. history of Ukraine, the history of Russia, and everything. Well, we could be explaining forever. I mean, some some people are not even knowing the roots and the the reasons for the World War One, for the World War Two. Some people in the West and in the Europe are uh, really thinking that when they close their laptop or turn off their mobiles, the war is just over. They don't understand why these Russians and Ukrainians are f cannot find the, the, the base for the mutual dialogue, is what they have been asking. Some say, well, you know, they, maybe they will understand it when Putin will come at their door and will kill their family and will rape their women and will abduct their children. Maybe then changes will be obvious. So um, I'm absolutely with you. I agree with you. And I thank you for your answer regarding this possible Elon Musk's pro-Russian stance.